Men are biologically no, dogs. I so know. sex is, I, I'm not shocked that that is on the list. Because, I mean, everyone's like, well, why my man cheat? I'm, girl, did you give him anything? Like, you are now watching. You are now watching. You are now watching. You are now watching. Two girls. Two girls. Two girls. See two girls. One taco. And one taco. Uh, and one taco. One taco. Yes, adios mio, aquí voy. Están viendo dos chicas y un taco. You go. He cold. Okay, That's like, the motherfucking one. Look, man, we just came through the dough busting with choppers and faux foes. You now tuned into a great show, Two Girls, One Taco. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Letting it all, like with a switch. Like, <laughs> like it, it's just shaking all out of control. Y'all know I got to so you know, shaking I got a gold table. joint. You know shaking the table. <laughs> I got the black joint too, but I might give a go and I'm get to go a little glee. You know what I'm saying? With a nice glee. Little... <laughs> right. Because when you come glee. through, you know what I'm saying? Like Kodak, like yeah, like glee. Who? Oh. Like yeah. <laughs> you ain't know about that. Yeah, be coming through with the. Yeah. Why do I feel like you should have cute Kodak black? Right, did it there. Right. That's right. I wish. Kodak, get at us. Right. Glee. Glee. <laughs> we got a Glee for you. This episode was sponsored by Glee. Oh. Right. Right. We'll go up. We'll go up. I ain't going to hold you like, we got a great episode today, so I just want to go ahead and start you off and, and let you know you watching Two Girls Want to Talk on. Today, I just want to, want my, my guest to introduce herself. Got my amazing co-host with me, but but me just first? take it away. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ladies first. <laughs> She's a lady too. But you the biggest. You the biggest. You oh, the biggest. I'm big age. You the okay. biggest ruggish. Okay. Come right. through. Right. My name is Hanan Sinecrot, known right. otherwise as Big H, Queen yeah. H Palace, Queen H, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, got invited to do this podcast today. Two girls, one taco. Okay. Let us know a little bit about what you do when you razzle dazzle the babies up. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't know if you y'all wanted that, but straight out the gun. I'm a certified lash technician of three years, CEO of Queen <laughs> H's Palace. Not a certified lash technician, I'm sorry. Lash designer. Let's get it correct. Right. Um, I'm also an employee at my old uh, community college for academic coaching, Montgomery College. And I'm also in my last semester getting my social work degree at oh. UMBC. Okay, social work. She's social work. <laughs> She's fine. She ain't single, so back up. <laughs> Big up, man. Big up, man. Respectfully, man. Big up. But she fine, educated, gifted, melanated, right. powerhouse. Oh, melanated, okay? Because right. I think I'm no, white. No, uh -huh. you got melanin. It's okay, right, boo. Right, we talk right, about right. later. We talk about later. But okay. You got melanin, baby. Right. You got melanin. Well, thank you guys for having me on this podcast. So. Nah, no question. Coming. Thanks for joining us. We she appreciate you. She got you, you on the lashes, but ain't for free though. Right. We gonna right. talk about that later. Right. Make sure you get the at. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be right there. You mm -hmm. going boom, boom, you know. and then. Ladies, you already know what you know, and if you don't know, come through the door so you can tune into the show mm -hmm. and know what you need to know. Get the news you can use. Wake up, don't press snooze. Yeah, that one. <laughs> what about you, though? How you doing? What's your name? Now, you know, <laughs> I had to come through a little spicy today. All right. But we're back at it. Like a crack addict, <laughs> it's your favorite addiction, Kila the doll. Right. Ooh, they need that joint. I, I said that out of the blue earlier. Right. That, that was that like, like, a round of applause, swag. girl. Swag, you had to come through. And... I felt like I was right, boop, 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 right, right, in right. the ring. You a, know. a quick little combo, a ten piece. What kind of sauce? <laughs> all of them. Damn, all the sauces. <laughs> you going up? You going up? Right, right, right. It's should. the muscle. <laughs> it's the muscle lady pose. <laughs> oh, the what do you call it? The the bodybuilders. Those the, the were really like. They be like doing right. those poses, like. I ain't gonna hold you. I need to get in the gym. Oh yeah, same. I'm fucking up. I think I'm messing this up. up. I see you though. I see <laughs> you. Gotta, you. you look just, like you put that work in. Why you just put them in a the headlock? Right. There's something wrong with me. Y'all. They not gonna. They not gonna break out of it. You going No, I'm gonna lock the body with the left. I can't right. show the. Right. I can't show right. the feet. Right. Right. <laughs> they said my feet look like boots today. So nah, look. Nah, they okay. 
They okay. They sent the bane. They said that. <laughs> they said they didn't. They said it was just him. They said Taco was tweaking. Hey, so look on, on today's episode, it, it, we're going to talk like a little bit about just relationships and perspectives and just some of those kind of insights. One of the first questions I want to start off with, though, is like, do you do you ever cut off all your hoes? Like all of them. Like when you're in a relationship? In a relationship or single? Well, Maybe I'm not, single. I, I'm not really... I never was really one to have hoes. Like, I would just... People would just entertain me. Like, when I was single. Um, but, I mean, I've been in a committed relationship for the past right. three years. So, I'm not going to, like, have hoes. Like, even, like, having guy friends sometimes, like... I'm just really loyal. Like, I'm going to just put that out right. there. Like, even just having guy friends sometimes, that makes me, like, uncomfortable if I'm a really committed relationship. Because it's right. like, why am I going to tell my guy friend things that I should be telling my man? Right. Like, my man should be my best friend. Right. And stuff like that. So, it's like, other people, they want hoes. Like, I, that tells me right there, you got commitment issues. Right. Like, in the long run, like, right. regardless. Like, if it's being entertained, if it's actually, like, doing the deed with them, like, you gonna develop some commitment issues, and that's why everyone's out here like, why can't I find this person or find the right spouse? It's because you was hoeing around. Mm. Like, that's why you got commitment issues. <sighs> Nobody wanna wife it up, put a <sighs> ring on it. Like, right. hoes is not the way for me. <laughs> I knew you, uh, the, the big H, everybody. The big H, not the little one. <laughs> I don't even know how you. I think it's like uh, a. Uh, well, this is like more like an A. There so. you go. This is an H. That's yeah, an this H. is an H. That's an H. That's yeah, like, the big oh. H. Right. Wow. It's hard to follow after you, girl. You <laughs> brought the house down. <laughs> Standing ovation. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a keep it real. So don't be intimidated with what I say. I'm you not, got your opinion. You Everyone's not. entitled to their own opinion. Now, you know I'm going to keep my opinion. My <laughs> opinion. You know. Right. So, boom. Um... Being as low, I've never been officially in a real relationship, okay? Officially, I've never been in a real relationship. So for me, the dynamic is different. It's not that I didn't have people that offered that dynamic or that opportunity to me. It's just when it was offered to me the first time out of the gate, it was just like, we just started hanging out. And here he goes, I want you to be my girl. I was like, whoa, I, I almost jumped yeah, off Yeah, like head. rushing like that makes you want to like, like back away. I was like, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> yeah. And then I turned around, you guys, and I got my feelings hurt. We're not going to talk about that today, <laughs> but I got my feelings pummeled into a pulp, you guys. That is a story for a later date. You saying if you, if you directly know what you want, like if you see somebody and you maybe not love at first sight, but just... But no, I mean, even still then, okay? Even still then... Cause I mean I don't got mileage, but you know every car got, got a little. Mileage. Every car got a little, you know. Right. It ain't that zero. You, you might have hit the. You might have right. hit the scratch the rims right. once or twice. Right. You know. Right. 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 Are you sure? Yeah. Look. Like, like, <laughs> you got. You got to break that joint in. You but gotta, no. But honestly, like even when I found someone who I really liked, and I would have probably did just about anything like i'm talking about anything 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 <laughs> anything hey <laughs> hey what even when i found that person it was just still like timing was not aligned and everything it just didn't always align we'll just say that so i will say i think that it is always good, especially if you're single and you are not privileged to be able to have that person that you find, which love exists. It does. Prime example. It, it does. Wow. Wow. But you got to work for it, though. You do. It's not but easy. But even, even for some people, it's almost like what you attract or what you're attracted it's to. It's a reflection on yourself. And it's not even really a reflection of yourself. Sometimes you will like things about people that is like, oh, this person just... As a woman, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just so much potential on this person, even if it's just a friend. Women have, like, literally, at least for me, speaking as a woman, and, like, basically, basically Go going off what you're saying, like, women literally will see, like, that person's potential before they even see it. Like, the guy will see it in themselves. 
but then you fall in love with that potential but you don't fall in love with that person so but even yeah if, but sometimes you could be you could be me a sagittarius a hopeless romantic <laughs> <laughs> a hopeless romantic and you'll fall in love with that person off of just basically seeing the potential in that person and then seeing characteristic characteristic traits that they show that everyone might not always get a glimpse of. Right. So that that that's also that's a downfall, guys. That's a downfall. <laughs> but I mean it's good for somebody. It's good for somebody. Right. But I mean, that's a hard question to answer because I feel like depending on what stage of life you're in, sometimes it may require for you to just be solely committed to someone. Sometimes it may require for you to, let me just at least go out to dinner. That don't mean you opening your legs to everybody, right. John and Harry, because we don't want that for you. <laughs> but, and I mean, at least if you're going to do that, no judgment, y'all. We don't judge. You can send in your stories if y'all want to. But right. definitely, you know, you always protect yourself. On the couch. You always yeah. welcome on the couch. But definitely protect yourself. But aside from that, definitely like different stages of life is like you're in the Preparing budding phase you or you're still in the ground in the soil. Right. It it life is just a never ending plethora of different experiences yep. that showcase exactly where you're supposed to be along your timeline at different places. So No, I definitely agree with that. Like there were certain time periods in my life where like I thought I needed to be in a committed relationship but it was just not working out for me. Like it was actually causing more harm to me and like everything that I just mentioned that I do, like it was causing me to go on a downfall. Whereas like now in the committed relationship I'm in, like I've actually learned to like find myself, find like my passions, what I'm capable of doing. Like, I love yeah, that for you. shout out to my man though, because I mean, honestly, I, mean, I wouldn't so even be man. like, a content creator like girl i i didn't know i had artistic skills like i haven't drawn since i was like in kindergarten but like you got it. but now i found that through lashing through like just doing different types of content and like different types of like outlets like podcasts and stuff that's an art in itself like that's just art. and i love talking so it's like just being able to do that like showcase my own art and stuff right. so it's like sometimes like when you find that person they unlock like they have that key that you didn't even know could be unlocked and like who you are and like what you can become and like know that you're capable of doing like multiple things and not just settling for one thing because society wants you to do that thing. Like that's that's how I see it, honestly. That's why I said it's big H. <laughs> not big H. The little one. One, <laughs> one, one, one. She's on the ones, not the twos. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Y'all was talking about falling in love with like the potential, but you can't really see that. Like the potential, is it? It's it's not manifested yet because it's potential. <clears throat> so how can you be so now? Invested? See, this is the thing, right? Bring I have it, a friend. I have a friend, and he does a show. Which, if he comes on later, I will let y'all see his show. On here, on this app, his name is Logical Gentleman. Mm, right? right. So he goes through like different conversational topics and. He basically broke it down to a simple science. Men are more logical than females, and females are more emotional than men. I stand by that. Like, I literally, I. like, when people are like, women can do anything men can do, I'm like, bitch, sit down. Like, we got to put emotion behind it. We ha and exactly. And, and men like, have to put logic behind exactly. it. Exactly. And, like, the my religious be beliefs come from, like, in our, like, book it says like for every woman witness one woman witness there has to be two other male witnesses because women think and remember things with emotions men think more logically so it's like that's why men like a lot of men out here nowadays would be like why are you so emotional why are you crying like why are you acting like a baby and then a lot of women will look to men and be like why are you emotionless like why don't you have any emotions like where's your character where's your morals but it's just because biologically how we're built we're different and that's why I'm like, a man can't get pregnant, a woman can get pregnant, but like a man, like that's why kids are more connected to their mothers because they develop that emotion. Like your child's the only one that can hear your heartbeat inside of you. Like you don't even know what your heartbeat sounds like inside of you. But like men, like that's why like with the absent fathers, it's so quick for them to leave because they don't have that emotional connection as strong with their child as their mother does. So it's like, but I can say like, Men, 
they can hold it down. Like if a true man, like not like these little hoes out here, like thinking, oh, I'm this, I'm that. But like a true man can really hold it down. Like someone that like men are just providers. Hey man, say man, thanks for pressing play, man. You are now tuned in to Two Girls, One Taco. We just came through the dough, busting with choppers and fofo. The podcast where we get elevated and get good dough. You know what I'm saying? Today's episode is brought to you by the Outlet DC. Let's talk about my cowboy. You know what I'm saying? They got like, so they cool, right? So the way that they work. You come through and you get you a, a sports car, right? Like, I ain't going to hold it. They like, I done got my collection up because I just like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you get, you picking up what I'm putting down. Anyway, every, every donation comes with a, a, a PSA, PDA, greatest sports car from your favorite team. But you never know because the mystery is behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So when you bust this thing open, right, you really buy you one of these elite sport cars, right? So... To get you a sticker, hold on, you know what I'm saying? And depending on who you are and what you buy, you know what I'm saying, you might get elevated to the sky, you know what I'm saying? But they got their own premium strength called the donuts, you know what I'm saying? Like powder donuts, like, you you know what I'm saying? I like the sweets, you know what I'm saying? Like the desserts, I might have like a sweet tooth. So this is the powder donuts, you know what I'm saying? And I really, I get down with the powder donuts and when you roll this up, you might get powdered and some snow, you know what I'm saying? You get high in a little bit and get flat. But look though, you're not buying the donuts. You're buying this silverware right here. And when you bust it down, you get it to the ground and let me see what you're getting. Cause look, everything come like this with the plastic outlet sticker coming to you. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hey, I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. What's going on right here? They got the, the Sean Taylor red skins. Rest in peace to my man, and I think today is my man's B day, right? On uh, what? And I just opened this up with the Redskins, a double joint. You know what I'm saying? Well, depending on what you're getting, though, you got to get the right flavors, you got to get the right grades, you got to get the right amount of grams. Make sure you get your dollars up and that your followers up. You know what I'm saying? Get high until it gets to the sky. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Outlet DC, man. Two girls, one taco TV. Now back to the episode. Like they're meant to be providers. And like women are meant to be like caretakers. Like, I don't know if y'all heard the saying, like, give a woman a house, she'll turn it into so a home. home. Right. Yeah. So it's like home is what what the woman does. Like a woman is more likely to want to take care of everything in the house and the man will be like, okay, like it's not even like different gender bias or like feminists or anything. That's why I hate when women are like, I ain't cooking or cleaning. I'm like, well, girl, don't expect him to give you no money. Like, okay. he's the one bringing the bread. Then like, it'd be like this, Chanel. Exactly. Like, girl, but did you earn it? Did you earn it? Did you earn it? I ain't gonna <laughs> like, lie. I seen one today. It said, it said, um, you wanted the man to work for 100% of the income, but you wanted to split it 50 50 for the divorce. I, I don't that, agree with that, bro. I looked at that. I said, yo, <laughs> this is crazy. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that. I don't know. I think, I think it just come with merging accounts, and I've been thinking about that lately. Like, if when I get married, I don't think we merging accounts. I think I'm gonna have one, and then I'm gonna have an additional joint account. If, yeah, if you gonna have like the way I see it, like because you could split that joint account, but I might still have them rackets on me. You might have your yeah. Everyone I, needs I to have their own saying. money for. I get what you're saying, but the way that I look at that dynamic though is, it, it's not really a marriage. Only reason why I say that is. If I feel like I gotta hide money from my spouse, ain't no point. No, no it's, it's not, not hiding, hiding money. money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, I'm no, bad. it's not hiding money. Like the way I see it, like like when we get married, like I'm gonna have my own bank account. I'm gonna have my own savings, right. and, and then, then we'll you gonna a, have like, your okay. own. And then the joint okay. would be for the bills, stuff for the house, okay. and then a savings for our children. Like if they want to, okay, do well, whatever like they it. want. I like it because y'all broke it down like that. Because right. most of the people they be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hide these. No, I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, no. <laughs> that's not. That's not like. Where's the trust in that? that? Look, like right. that like, causes a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> be like, they be trying to hide money. Y'all know they do. They do be trying to have money. Nah, I ain't trying to have money. I just want it to be a matter of like, like my wife, ideally, I would like to give my wife an allowance. Like if she want to work, she can work. But if she don't want to work. I like I, that because I being a mother and a wife in right. itself is a job. So it's like. Like if you want to be a hundred percent emotional being, like connected with the family, or mm -hmm. they say that's not a good. They say that's not a good. That's not a good rule of practice, though. 
I mean, your, every like, woman person, should because your wife will get bored at home all day, and then. But and she then, should also have other things. She, yeah, she should have other things. Right. But like, I did. So like for me, like the reason actually why I got into lashing was because you guys know they only give you forty days of leave. Yeah. Your body takes forty days to recover from a very traumatic experience giving birth. So it's like I'm quitting my day job just to be with my kids and like. I, but I'm not gonna sit there and just lay around and do whatever. Yeah. Like I'm gonna sit there and like do lashes and like you know hopefully other services that I want to provide, but still be a present mother. Like be because I'm home based right now, so it's like if my child crying, I can go in the other room. Okay, be like give me a second. I'll bring him in the room or bring my child in the room and like you know if they're very small and stuff like that. Like once they get bigger, like yeah no go over there with your dad. I gotta work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's like how I see it. Like every woman should still have something that they want to do and not solely just rely on their man. Just as like the man shouldn't solely rely on their woman for every single thing. Like each party has to be able to take care of themselves and like obviously. Marriage sometimes is not always 50-50. It could be 70-30, 60-40. So it's like sometimes you got to lean on the person, but they help you get back on your feet. It could always be 90-10. Yep. I might, <laughs> I might, I might like, no, nah, I ain't going to speak on that. I was going to say if if I was to get a divorce, I would go through, I'd probably break my wife off some so she could be good. Or my yeah. Ex, or my ex-wife. Where I come from, like my beliefs, like, they're like when you get married they're supposed to be like a man gives you a diary so it's right. like if something does happen you still have something where you can live on your own two feet right. and be taken care of right. because you know he's he's been taking care of you he's gonna take care of you after that divorce but till you get married you know he's not gonna take care of you no more because you got another man to take care of you right. well shout out to the stand-up men black, men, black men don't cheat hashtag Hydration gang, hashtag black men don't cheat. Hashtag mm. taco talk. Yeah. Now, does this apply to every man? Yeah, every, does it? Every, every black man with melanin don't cheat. I don't agree with that. So you mean to tell So you mean to tell me? I don't agree with that. You know what? We ain't even going to get into that. Yeah, that's another topic but for he another said, day. Hashtag black men don't cheat. Hashtag taco talk. TV. Taco Talk TV, hashtag two girls want taco, hashtag black men don't cheat, hashtag hydration gang. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. I ain't gonna hold you, but that's, you just gotta let them know so the people know what's going on. Do, do you think that stripping is equivalent? Do you think that stripping is an efficient way for ladies to fund their dream career? Go ahead. Why me? Go ahead. <laughs> you go first. Okay. Because so, I got I to gotta right. upset. Y'all may not like what I got to say. So you go first. Oh, no, first. it's okay. Because I'm going to cover all the bases for you real quick. <laughs> they don't like the video anyway. Okay. Boom. So being a spicy dancer myself, um, it's kind of an obscured view. I do not think that you should be dancing for the duration of your life. Like 35, 40 is insane and there's still women in the club at 35 40. shout out to you because most of y'all still be looking bomb i'm not a hater y'all got the bbl sitting face on boom body on ooh. you feel me y'all turning oh, heads. Liposuction. <laughs> you know you 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 turn in somebody's head and it takes a certain level of confidence for women to even walk and pervade themselves in that manner so boom shout out to y'all now what i will say is as a very diverse individual, I don't think that that is something that someone should do at all. If you've never done it, you shouldn't do it, in my personal opinion, because a lot of times people get caught Wait, up in an you, image. If you never did it, you if you never done it, you shouldn't do it? No, and like, I'm going to tell you why. Started? No, I'm going to tell you why. So, like I said, a lot of people get caught in a lifestyle you're always around people who do substance abuse. You're around people who don't know how to control themselves. You may even end up in the wrong situation, wrong place, wrong time. You fight in anything. And I've been in a lot of situations. Well, I won't say a lot of situations. I've been in one to two situations where if I would have just thought or just eased up or just changed my way of thinking for a moment, I wouldn't have been in that situation. And it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm out here just getting down bad, like the worst, like Players Club. And, right. you know, I'm coming mm -hmm. back. <laughs> right, right, you know, right. it ain't one of them. But it's 
definitely an eye-opening experience. But what I will say is it's definitely glamorized. Um, it's not what it seems. It's not what it seems at all. You go in there, you think, oh, I just got to shake a little something. You don't even know what you're doing. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be the bed. Them girls is going. Yup. When I tell you I used to get picked apart and ate for days, and not in a good way, not in a, so yummy, so yummy, muy deliciosos, muy deliciosos type of way, it was more like, <laughs> aw, <laughs> baby shark. Dang, like, not the baby fired. shark. Like shots fired. And it takes a certain, like I said, it takes a certain level of confidence. And if you're going to go into that lifestyle, be prepared to fight. Be prepared to be around anything and everything because you never know what's going on. And especially a lot of those girls going there under the influence, intoxicated or needing to be intoxicated to even be comfortable in that type of setting. And you set yourself up. I'm going to be honest, you set yourself up. Because, first of all, a lot of girls can't even determine what level of intoxication is enough or too much to say, hey, I need you to come get me or even be able to phone a buddy. I agree with that. Like, I didn't even, I mean, I don't really, I know one person that's a stripper, but, like, I don't know her on a, like, personal level. But when you said, like, they have to get to a level of intoxication, like, I remember I was, like, at, like, a little birthday party with her and... She was telling me, like, she got smoked this much, she got drink this much to be able to get through her night. And, like, that's, like, sad because in the long run, like, yeah, that you might be getting a little cash. You might be getting some stuff to get buy that bag that you really want. Like, Chanel, Gucci, whatever it is. I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, but in the long run, your health is deteriorating. So what does it really matter? Like, why are you trying to, like, set yourself up to basically, like, kill yourself in a way? Like yeah. internally, I think, slowly. I think, I think everything we doing is killing ourselves. Like, yeah, that. I get that, but like it's we like all, we all dying slowly right now. But on average. But you're gonna kill yourself faster. faster. And let me tell you how. And you're like working all hours of the night, which your body like naturally is gonna want to go to sleep at dark time. Like wow. that's just me with my like education part right now. But like you staying up all night and like coming home when the sun's out, like it's messing with your biological clock. It's messing with how you think, your right. judgment and everything. And like you said, like it's glamorized. People like don't even know what they're doing, what they can get themselves into. And like I've seen I mean, I watch a lot of true crime stuff, but like I've seen a lot of things where like some women are like just leaving the club and I and they get harassed because mm -hmm. they didn't give whoever that type of attention because they were trying right. to protect themselves, but then they had no protection once they're outside of the club. Like they might end up Killed, nah, God they, forbid. Nah, you know? they gonna keep that blicky. We in 2023 and we in Washington, D.C. They gonna keep that blicky and it, it will get sticky. Allegedly, <laughs> Allegedly, Allegedly. in Washington, D.C. I don't know what he's talking about. Allegedly. He's from Washington. I'm just here visiting. Allegedly in New York. Allegedly mm -hmm. in, in VA. Allegedly in MPA. the A. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We well, on the East Coast. With you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never know where we could be at. Today might be today and tomorrow could be today. Oh, You know what I'm saying? Dang. Mandela effect. Mandela effect. <laughs> That's what we Super need dry. like a we need like a uh, like a gif like a like a like a Mandela effect gif. We you know you like could a... literally run back some of our facial expressions and just and boop, make, boop, right, cut it and that. just like put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you. Look, do you think? Can that, I finish you... answering that question though? Because what was the question? Repeat the question again. Do you think that? Well, she was talking about the, getting the Birkin bag and the Gucci oh, bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let me let me do that, and then I'm going to answer the actual question. So a lot of times you come in with you come into so much money. A lot of girls are not used to type, making that type of money. Number one. So the biggest thing for me was I learned financial literacy. I learned financial literacy. You think that's popular for everybody, or you think no, it's just, not. It's they not. They're getting used to like. They're uh, just. Now if I go, this I want to. Oh, I like to eat. I still have my bad habits because I like to eat. I like to shop. I like to do this. I like to do that. And I want to do it when I want to do it because I'm used to having money. Right. I'm not used to... Right. You know, Self-discipline. And I mean, I was disciplined, but you talking about making hundreds of dollars in a night. You're talking about in a week. And these are the things like the profit margins and projections within a short time span... In less than a month, 
probably to a month, you can have anywhere from, if you actually manage your money, you can have anywhere from 5000 or more. Just sitting in a box. You're just looking <laughs> yeah. like... Oh, 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 closed box. <laughs> but like I said, a lot of people aren't used to having anything. So you give a girl Chanel, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Balenciaga, Givenchy. You, they, women, some women have never had that. Yeah. Some women are not privy or privileged enough to get everything that they want when they want it. Now me, I'm cool. I'm cool with not having all of that. Now granted, I have splurged a little bit. We all have those moments. But I, I'm I'm more into, okay, like you said, you can take the money and make it an investment. You like to do lashes. Not saying you would go in the yeah. club and do that respectfully. Very respectfully. No, there's some lash checks out there but, that be doing but that. But you though. know what I mean? Like, I say, depending on what you're going through in that time frame, like I said, life be life. So sometimes, like, I had lost my job. I had lost my job because I wasn't vaccinated at the time. And I was told, oh, I had this amount of days. And that was like, I was like, well, I always wanted to get back or try to do this or see what this is about. So I took my little bit of coins that I had from that job, invested in myself. And I made probably 10 times over what I invested initially, which was like probably no more than $300. That's a job like that. And there's been times when I've been down bad and I only had, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I've only had tipping money to my name and gas money in my car. Hey. And Sometimes when I, like, I actually just went through something like that with just lashing. Like, one, I had one client a week. That was just enough for me to fill up my gosh for the week. So it's like, it gets hard. Women are strong as fuck. We really are. So you never, you never okay. paid for a date? <laughs> Okay, so boom, I have paid for a date, but you with your girls? No, no, I, I, I told you I could be a simp sometimes. Right. Simple soon. <laughs> Shout out to whoever has ever used me as a simp. Yeah. What? That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, That's what he said. Oh, shout out to me. Yeah. She talking about me right now. Yeah. What? I'm a man. Who don't prefer this? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's probably doing right now. But shout out to you. Anyways, Goldfinger moment. If you ask me to take me on a date, first of all, I only deal with a certain type of caliber. It I'll gotta blame be. You. It gotta be the right one, not the white one. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Okay. I'm talking. I might be Maserati pimping one day. Okay. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Then I might be down south in the Texas, off in the A or something. And you know, I'm like, you know, your hostel. with my holster into my gun, you know, just in case I got a pop pop out Toting the window. You know, toting heavy clips. Right. Only extend those. Right. That was ain't legal. So do what you please with that information, wink wank. Right. But you know, if I'm up in his Cadillac. Saddle back, you know, every now and then it's all right to get a little chicken scrape. Right. But, you know, then you got the Teslas. Yes, sir, uh, my bestie and a Tesla. <laughs> you know, the Teslas are normally pretty darn smooth. But the Maybach, they go way back. Okay. If I'm in Florida, baby. Right. Right. That's the one. No, that ain't the one. It's more like the Tesla, yes, sir. Okay. Beep, uh beep. Is that my bestie in a Tesla? <laughs> Goldfinger. Anyways, back to the moral. What was the damn question is again? It, is it because it's on autopilot? That's why you like the Tesla? Because no. it got the autopilot mode? Well, I'm going to leave this PG-13 because no. I respect that. You know what? We're not answering that question. No. Look, they, mm -hmm. said, they said men want five things. Gratitude, loyalty, attention to detail, sex. And understand that. Basically, you guys, his ass better pick me up. And he better pick up that first fucking check. Because I like this man. Yeah, if he going to be driving you around in that, he better be paying the first what? check. Like, no, I don't care what he's driving. He could be in a Hyundai. Right. He could be in a 
in a in a Honda back. Right. <laughs> if you want to pretend that it's a Maybach, baby. Right. Okay, you could be in a Toyota. We've been a, we've been in a Honda cat, so I, I understand the Honda back. <laughs> That's when you put the seat all the way back like right. this and ride that jump like a Maybach, baby. Right, right. You put <laughs> the seat, you. you put the seat back into yesterday. You know what? I'm holding us up. We still want the last question. No, nah, I was just look. They said men want five things: gratitude, loyalty, attention to detail, sex, and understanding. Do you think that's is that valid? Let's ask them. Is that valid? I think it's valid. Like, you think that's a side of this or like all? Oh, I I you know think that's valid. Because one, like, I'm going to just say this. No offense to the men in this room. Sorry, babe, but I got to say this. Say it. Men are biologically babe, dogs. Damn. So sex is, I, I'm not shocked that that is on the list. Because, I mean, everyone's like, well, why my man cheat? I'm, girl, did you give him anything? Like, men are going to go and find it and get it, but like, a real man, like, going with all the um, the other four on the list, like the gratitude, loyalty, attention to detail, and understanding. Right. Like, if you give that to a man, they're not going to, like, want to go find pussy anywhere. What? They're just going to, like... agree with that? Top, top list. I, I do agree with it. Right. Because, like, men just want somebody to, like... Because sometimes men don't notice it. Like, us women, like... I'll say right now, I'm a lurker. I pay attention to every detail. You could post that... If someone posts that they're right here, I literally know exactly where they are because I'm very attentive to the detail. I've been here so many times, like I know what everything looks like. If you were somewhere I don't know where you're at, I'm gonna get on your case. But like real men, or no, some men, like real men will understand, but some men be like, why are you all up in my shit? Why are you this? Why are you that? It's like, because I'm a, attentive to detail. Like I'm gonna call you out on little things like that. Like, why don't you just tell me that you was about to go to the club? Okay. I'm not saying like, you right, know, hypothetical, right, right. but like, obviously I could tell I you're in a plug and not right. in the club and not in a room with lights like these. Right, like, right, you know, right, I'm right. so I feel like the list is pretty valid. Uh, attention. What you're saying is resonating so much. Attention, <laughs> attention, attention to detail, Bay. I appreciate you because all of the attention to detail that that's that'd be the one that'd be exactly what you need because you'll point out something that you know you ain't. You ain't know what you think about that list. You ain't, you ain't run the that. list back. Run the list back. Said, run the list <laughs> it was back. pretty long list. They run said, the list back. They said men want five things. They want gratitude, loyalty, attention to detail, sex, and understanding. You think, <clears throat> you think that's an accurate list, or you think with that list he's so, still gonna cheat? So may I go and say, yeah. Break down for the people. <laughs> Break down for the people one time. May I send you down back off the road, shut it? Just one time, just yeah. for the people. They need All right, to know. one time. All right, good. You can give a man everything. If that man not ready, and you fucking go down back of foot world barefoot, you step on bare fucking glass, them a day. You fucking have scabs and fucking roaches on them <laughs> crop on your feet. You go past past bush rat road, and you go to flat road now. Now you're on flat surface, but it hot. Cause man, man no no what man no none. Man, man never know when he's satisfied. You give him everything. You never know. You never because know. Because pussy, it's free and it's everywhere. These women have so low. Sorry, women. Sorry, ladies. I don't mean to bag on us, but we gotta talk about that percentage, man. It's fifty fifty, and the fifty that's making it look bad for us. Them the ones with the. Yeah. You can get whatever you want, whenever mm -hmm. you want. And I mean, I'm not saying that we don't have needs that need to be met or desires that we need to be fulfilled. But at the same time, it's just like, if a man, a man can be fully satisfied, he can have the lady behind closed doors, a freak in a bed, freak in the sheets, nobody knows. She could be the powerhouse outside. She could be the dynamic duo. She could bring down, she could check all of the boxes, right. literally all of the boxes and for some men, it's what I find for some men is that being satisfied in private and sometimes in public, because, you know, most men that are like that, they like to be, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you off every now and then. <laughs> no, I you agree know, with that. Like they like they pimping. But I mean, you don't look sweet. Shout out to whoever you are. You don't look sweet. <laughs> right. And I mean, 
any man or I mean, I, shit, I'll just call it a spade a spade. Your own men will let you know you don't look sweet. And I mean, they probably won't even let you know because they want to look sweet with you. So, I mean, right. I'm just going to be honest. You don't look sweet, baby. And I'm going to read you for the filth, for the blood of Mary who had a little lamb. Okay. <laughs> um, but shout out to you still because you look sweet to somebody. So I'm not bagging on you, but I mean, you have to be conscious that for every man that does not know how to treat a woman, there is an infinite number of men who will know how to treat a woman or will know how to court a lady or will know how to pay attention to the details that she pay attention to. Right. Baby, I'm in the kitchen making burrito tacos. <laughs> I'm allergic to chiles. What is wrong with me? Right. I'm over here, whole body, whole face, whole everything itch. Just everything burn. But just, just to make a meal for somebody. I'm talking too much. But anyways, nah, point in case. Some people can have all of the things that they their soul can desire. It could it could align with everything in their morals, their values, their standards, everything. And it just some people, like I said, life is a timeline. So sometimes your timelines don't match, and I'm okay with that. But at least have a respect for the person whom you're dealing with to say, yes. "Baby, you know, you everything I want. You everything I need. I get on my damn knees if I could." But I'm just, I'm not, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not programmed right, you know? I mean, I feel like when a man says that, it's because, like, it could be a couple of things. The main thing, Bring fi home. financially stable. Because when a man is not financially stable, that takes a toll on the relationship in itself. Another thing, it could just be because he got commitment issues, like I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Another thing, it could be just, like, He's not like Mature. structured. Yeah, exactly. He's not structured. He's not stabilized not morally. Exactly. He's not prepared for it. And it could um dang, I was gonna say one more thing. It could just be because like he's not a real man. So like I what I want to say, like based off what you were saying, that list is more for real men. Like men that are ready for like a woman that is ready to give them that. Cause a lot of the men that may have answered that or said that, like a lot of them they they can't give what they can't give to a woman and expect that back to yeah. them because they're just not ready for it or they just don't know These how are to go about it. Things that they it. want to require or acquire, but they don't meet the requirements no, of a woman. What all women want, right? But they could never meet those same standards in return. Most men cannot meet those basic standards. No, they can't. It was another one I seen that I like. They said that. Um, as a husband, like a, a boyfriend is already moving in a way that he is seen as a husband. And a lot of times, girlfriends are not moving in a way that appears to be... As a wife. As a wife. Yeah. I I, I do see what you mean by that. Well, like, I just wanted to add that in because I was thinking while I said that, that was a little bit... Yo, I'm for me get vexed. I just know it. I just know it. Because it's like, even still, like... A woman could be showing wifely qualities and then a man come in return. I'm just playing, you know, little advocate on the shoulder. I won't say the name, but I will play the advocate on the shoulder for right now for the purpose of this conversation because, like I said, men want things that they can't fulfill. You want to desire, but you don't desire to also please me in wanting your desires fulfilled. All right, but let me, let me ask you a riddle though, right? They say you can't have your cake and eat it too. So you're supposed to bake a cake, right? You're supposed to get all your ingredients, mix them together, bake your cake, and then just put it out for display for everybody. But that's to look not at. what that means. Or you're supposed to get it. That's yeah. not what that means. Break it down. I think. Go ahead. I put mean, your going analogy. off that saying, like from my understanding of it, like you, yeah, you could bake the cake, but like you got to be like willing to like share it. Like, you know what I mean? No, like I'm not sharing my cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like an actual cake. Like, not not that type of cake. But, no, you know. I don't, I don't know what the, what the example called for. Because I seen that, though, and they was like, you can't have your cake, you can't eat it, too. I'm like, man, you make the cake so you can eat the cake. What that means is you go into a bakery, right? Yeah, you, you explain Because I don't really understand saying that you really like that either. You buy five different nice cakes. You go into Wegmans or you go into Whole Foods and you get them <laughs> strawberry cake shortcake. Factory cake. Yep, <laughs> cheesecake factory cake. So you go to Wegmans, you go get your strawberry shortcake. Mm. 
Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. I love that strawberry icing with the white icing right. and then the filling and the yellow kick. Ooh, right, girl. Right. Then you go to a place that just specializes in chocolate cake. You get the best chocolate cake. I'm talking about triple chocolate cake layered. Got the mmm. Might got the white filling on it. Might got the pink icing on the inside. That's different. They got the pink pearl icing on the inside. No, that is that, different. Okay, okay. <laughs> that thing is more delicioso, but you can't tell from the outside looking mm -hmm. at it. Okay. Then you might go, you might go to a Lebanese spot. They got the best Lebanese. Shout out my Arabs. Okay, shout out. Shout because out me love, I love me some Arab perfumes. Mm. You know what's funny? I'm actually allergic to them. Oh. <laughs> What? I can't wear perfumes. Maybe it's because my grandma, like growing up, had these really. Sh you know how old people have these yeah, strong perfumes. The she get the strong like air, like they're called oud, like the really strong oud. The I'm oud? like, yeah, that's yeah, that's another. I love me a She get the strong ones. I'm like, grandma, stay away from me. I'm gonna break <laughs> out. <laughs> grandma, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna circle back I, to grandma. I, I eat good oud every day. Like right, that's how I survive. I survive eating off the good oud. Ooh, it's like perfume. Nah, like a plate, like a plate of ooh. You know what? <laughs> like, like, you, like, like, if you go to the microwave and you heat your ooh up for a minute. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Because okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. me and you are both over here. Like, like, wait, what? Nah, I'm putting, the, I'm putting the ooh on the plate, something. But the, that's, that's with the. <laughs> it's all good. Look, do, do y'all think that a man smoking hookah is feminine energy? No. Wait, I didn't get to answer the last question. Yeah, let her answer uh, the last question. Read the question again. Read the question what again. The last question? Yeah. You was... The cake. The cake. Yes. Okay, so boom. You got the Spanish cake. You got the... You got the... European cake. Right. You got the... The Asian the, cake. The Asian <laughs> cake. Oh, no. Uh, that's cake. a thing. Ooh, Asian cake. This cake. You got all the cakes. You got the Guyanese cake. You got all these different cakes. You take them home. But you want this cake, and then you want to double back. You want to triple double it up. Like, that's not even right to the first slice of cake. Like, why can't you just be content with eating one cake at a time? The cake is not going nowhere. That's why you have an unlimited supply of cake. So why would you want to, oh, yeah, I'm going to take the Guyanese slice. I'm going to take the Asian slice. I'm going to take the Lebanese spice. I got, I got a good one for you. And you're going to put them all on a plate and just mix them all together. You chop all the cake up and eat it that's together. Weird. But that's not nice. All, that's not nice yeah. to, the, to, the, the, to, to yeah. all the precious cakes. All I'm saying is if you took your favorite food, right? what's your absolute favorite food? And you think of yours too. What's mm. your absolute favorite food on I the don't entire have one. planet? Like Just one thing you could eat every day for the rest of your life. What would you pick? Watermelon. 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 <laughs> Watermelon. For me, I got it. I mean, I'm Arab, so I'm Palestinian. So I know this is about to start some beef with the Jordanians right now, but Ooh, like, bring it. I will eat mensaf. So mensaf is like lamb, and mm. then like underneath of it is like bread, and on top of that is rice. And then we make our own yogurt by hand. Like, I will literally, like, my, my mom and my grandma have, like, the little bowl. You know how, like, the Hispanics, they have their little, th the what is the molt thing or something? They, like, season it up. So, we have that. We season it up with, like, our own yogurt and everything. Get it to where it's, like, watered down so we can, like, cook it. Right. Put it on top. Put some pine nuts, some, like, parsley, cilantro with that big chunk of lamb on there. I bet. What's so that, are what's you that bringing me a Mensa. Mensa, right? Mensa and watermelon. <laughs> right, right. Please bring a plate. But look. Several. Mensa, <laughs> Mensa you, and watermelon. If you could eat that every day for the rest of your life, you'll never get tired of it? No. That's crazy. See, men is saying, men is watching and saying that's illogical. We cannot sit here and eat watermelon and Mensa that's every your, single day. That's your problem. That you shows y'all don't got commitment. You need to be more logical and you need to have more mental capacity and structure to focus on one thing at a time if i could just that's what it goes back to what i was saying men biologically well i'm gonna just say this men biologically are not meant for one woman i'm gonna just throw that out there from right. my beliefs that i'm muslim like i said men can have up to four wives you can have four wives but god tells you you gotta treat every single one the same you're gonna give one a baby you gotta give the other one you're gonna sleep here one night you gotta sleep here one night you're gonna give this person a house you better give this person a house but not a lot of men nowadays 
can even take care of just one woman. Mm. That's so that's saying. why they Come decide to take the easy way out and go cheat. Right. Okay. So can, can I ask you a question, right? So go you already ahead. know what I'm about to ask. Go ahead. You already know go what I'm ahead. <laughs> so I heard that I was talking to some Muslim brothers. Shout out to you. My brother know who he is. <laughs> But I was talking to some Muslim brothers, and he said, "Yeah, as a wife, as the you know, as the first wife, you have to agree with him taking up another wife." No, you don't. He has to ask you for permission. Yeah, he has to. Okay, see, that's what it is. My bad. I might have screwed up the word. Some then. people say that he doesn't have to, but if you're married to someone, you should at least give them respect, saying, "And you're supposed hey, to." Hey, in layman terms, I'm trying to try new pussy. Right. No offense to you. I love you and everything, but I want new pussy. But the reason why a lot of men, like, I, I see it, like, back home. Like, I got my mom's uncles, my grandma's cousins. The first, That's the first time I experienced that and seen it. And my grandma's like, who, guess who this woman is? There's, like, her cousin, older. She showed us, like, when my parents got married. And then there's this younger lady with a young kid. And, like, her husband's, I mean, old, like, 60, 70. And I was like, Grandma, who's, like, she was like, guess who that is? I was like, her sister? I don't know. She was like, no, that's the second wife. I was like, what? But, like, men sometimes do that, like... The first wife could probably not be able to carry a child. Okay. Right. It could be for like a lot of I different reasons. She's widow. Like, you know, it's not always just about the sex and, and the children and stuff like that. It could be for multiple ranges of reasons. But regardless what the reason is, you better treat every single one of your women with respect, with the dignity that God gave them. You treat them the woman that the way God created them. You I know? love that. I, I love the fact that you actually broke it down. Yeah. So it's a simple, basic understanding, a basic knowledge to where it's, it'll translate to other people. Anyways, back to the topic at hand, God. What's your question? Morning. So, okay, as a Muslim woman, right? Right? Right. Right. So, <laughs> how do you feel about if that dynamic existed within your own household? Is no. it no? Is no. it immediate no? It's immediate no. Not and I'm saying that. that just for like what I've seen and like with the women that I saw, yeah, they might be in these really big houses. Yeah, my mom's uncles might have these really big houses, but it's like no woman really wants to share. Like at least speaking for me, I know some women, they love it because they have a best friend that they could talk to and like instead of talking to their single friend that's trying to get them to do whole shit, they got someone that's telling them, no, do this for your man. Like, I understand, like, oh, he act like this. We can do this together. Some women can do that, but for me, like, I'm more of a dominant female in a way. Like, but I can still be submissive, but it's like, no. But submissive to a point. Exactly. My dick is my dick. Okay. Okay. My man is my man. I am not having some other woman around getting in my way. The way my mom is, no one's in her kitchen. Let me get my own kitchen. Bitch, you are staying out of my kitchen. What if she cut up the onions and then all you got to do is cook them? No. (laughs) No. Cut them out. Because I want to cry the onions myself out. (laughs) Like, nah, I just. She said she's putting the blood, sweat, and tears. Exactly. Like. All right, so look, though. This, this. That was. You. You satisfied? I'm not. I, I really want to finish the rest Come of these on. questions because honestly, there's a difference between somebody peaking your energy or like turning the key and not even opening the door. But it's like with you, with this episode, I feel like you've turned the key and opened the door and walked straight into my house. And I'm just like, oh, please, <laughs> what 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 can I give you? Because it's different when you have a perspective that is a different narrative or it's through like a different scope or like through a different lens. It's like, oh, well, you see this painting illustrated this way and you explained it this way. But me as the artist, I would explain it totally different. Right. Right. But the way that you've illustrated with your words and your wisdom and your knowledge and also your culture as a melanated being... Oh, thank yeah, you. The, 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 it's just fit the intriguing description of what's going on. You see how we stuttered there, and it, it, it's very beautiful. Even as you have described the dynamic of your cultural background and your your ethnic foods and cuisines, it's very beautiful. It's like you vividly painted an image throughout the whole entire podcast to not only get to know you as a person and your background, but also to pique the interest of others. To maybe get to know a little bit more about your culture and, you know, do in-depth research or maybe go visit or, 
Hey, let have me that know. little light bulb. Come let me on. let me go yeah. get my lashes done because boo, when you go back home, I need to go home with you. Right. I need some of this food. Like I need to meet the aunties. You know, like man, I do lashes at my grandma's house. All my clients know. They'd be like, "What's your grandma cooking? It smell good." I'm it's like, "It's some good stuff." Nah, we do that only on special occasions. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. If you asked me like my other favorite food, I would have told you, but that was yeah, you know. Okay. You said one, okay. so okay. I gotta say that. You okay. know. No question, not a mess. But it's definitely she, yeah. that. The mess is definitely that. I, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you a couple more questions. Um, this one's gonna be for fast food though, mm, and so okay. fast food is just a, a game that we play. You are gonna try to answer these questions in a rapid mente kind of fashion. That oh, way we yeah. can, we okay, can, we I can get situated. You know what I'm saying? I got some cool ones for today. The first one: What three places got the best fries? Wendy's, McDonald's. Is, I don't even eat McDonald's anymore, but I got to say America's Best Wings. I ain't going to lie. What? Mm -hmm. That was like carry on fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was joints is that. Come on, what's, what's your top three? Uh, Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. Dang. Uh, I forgot about that. Shake Shack. Damn. And mm, Clyde's. Uh, class. I, I ain't like, never been there before. Back. <laughs> I like, I like, I like, um, I want to say like Bonchon fries because Bonchon got I like, can't eat that. they got like Popeye's fries, but they like bold. Like if Popeye's mm. fries is like, I'm allergic. <laughs> to, to what? Corn, wheat, soy, peanuts, chili My, pop, chili yeah, pepper. Yeah, I remember that. You said everything. <laughs> you, you remember last time? Yeah, it was right. an extensive list. I'm not even going to get into it. Whole, Just go back to your answer. Of, go back to your answer. All right, so like Bonchon, and then I'll probably say Wendy's too. I'm mm. rocking with Wendy's. And yes. then um, maybe like the carryout. Cause carry out fries is like undefeated. Like, yeah, I never had no, for real though, I they really beat. Five, I, yeah, yeah. They, seasoning it and all. They like like George Foreman. They have that nice crisp to it. Right, that's and what the, I look for. The mumbo. Oh. Right. Yeah. Right, it's like they never miss. The carry out never miss before though. No, they don't. Mumbo sauce <laughs> and fries. All right, so the spill stat. Stat. Mm hmm. S T A T. And then spell ion. I O N. And then what do those words spell together? Station. Boom. Okay. I was gonna say stat ion. <laughs> Look, teamwork makes your dream work. I was gonna say stat ion. I was gonna say that too, and I was like, wait, no station. I got. I, got. I didn't even try. Right. It's okay. Look, look, look. How many animals did Moses take with him on the ark? Ten. One of each. Final. You answer. said Moses. One of each. One of each. One of each. I, I'm going to say the same thing. One of each. One of each. I don't even Moses know. Moses didn't have no art. I, that's oh. why I said Moses. I was thinking of Noah. But it's cool. Whoa. <laughs> spell, spell, spell car. C-A-R. And then spell rot. R-O-C-K. Rot. Rot. Oh, R-O-T. Then I spell the words. What that word spell together? Carrot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got a little delayed today. You got the the puzzle part of me going today. I'm so happy. I had a I had a good teammate. You know. What? No, good you really, partner. Really got it done. Right? If I'm gonna rob a bank, I know who I'm gonna do it with. Bye bye. Get you. on the floor. Well, I get the I'm money not, in the bag. We're not gonna rob a bank. Just so you guys it's know. It's gonna be a. It's gonna allegedly. It's gonna be a polite rob. It's gonna be a polite borrowing. Respectfully. We're not gonna rob. We please. Gonna, what the. Freaking money in the bag. Uh -uh. We'll come back with the investment. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Triple what we owe. I'm so sorry. Grandma, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if, 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 if I was to write a movie about how I would rob a bank, I would go in there and push a note and ask them, hey, I just need to borrow all of this money, but I don't want a loan. I need it right now. I've seen some people My do note that. would say to follow to the next register. Please don't hit the button. I would hate to have to blow all the fucking heads off. <laughs> yeah. <that thing. laughs> and what's your note going to say? My note, it would probably be like, hey, I know you think, if it's a guy, I'll be like, I know you think I'm cute. So you might as well give me all this money right now before I make sure you can never see what I look like again or any female. 
Facts. I feel like this is the best <laughs> alleged robbery. No, this is how we're gonna write the movie. This is the this is gonna be the movie. This is how the movie would go if we were to write a movie about how we Maybe we, we should do that. That's what I'm saying. No and one steal this because we we're gonna copyright this. Well, our ideas. It's already copyrighted. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, Facts. Like, you know, I already know what it is. Two girls on Taco. You just gonna do the great show. You already know what it is. But but. Looting. I, I, I appreciate y'all, you know, stopping through. I, I, I want to thank you for giving us a view into your world and your insights and different perspectives and adding this to the podcast because I think people may be intimidated when they see this. I think they're going to look and be like, oh, man. I'm going to tell y'all right now, everyone's intimidated of me. Ooh. I don't know why, Big but like, yeah. I will feel it and I'll be like, yo, I'm really a nice person. I just keep it real. People don't want to keep it real nowadays. Big H. Big H. Not Big the H. one that you're shooting your veins, but she's Make sure. I, I know this podcast is going to go up. I just, this episode is about to go up. Yeah, definitely. Because honestly, but I also want to thank you too for allowing me to like, give me a platform to really be like myself and just say like what I've always been wanting to talk about for real. Man, like, do you think, Chicken, when you can come back for another episode and get deeper? Shit. Right? Like, <laughs> Blast your social media right now. Let them know. All Queen H, Palace, three E's, two N's, you know, last designer in the DMV area. Custom strips, if y'all want some, I will also be catering to your eyes and everything and all your beauty needs in one. Make sure when you blink, you wink, stupid. Ow. Yeah. Same With my lashes, her. though. Not With the else. straps. With the strips. With the nest. Next the time strips. I come on here, you should be I'm having your strips. I'm going to have them on. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to get sucker punched in the chest again because you just punched me right in my chest. She started <laughs> off the episode, y'all, before the cameras even rolled. She said, oh, you ain't seen my Instagram post about the strips? Oh, why are you hear me about the strips? I said, like, oh, girl, because oh, I was oh, like, oh. you know, I don't know if I'm going to ever see her again, but if I do see her, I'm going to tell her. Like, girl, I posted this for you. And you know what I said? You going to hit the boop, boop, boop. Blue, blue for me <laughs> because you know I gotta, I really gotta poke, I gotta, wing, I gotta push wing, 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 I just butchered that. <laughs> oh, wait, we're going to be right there. It's K right. to the E to the E. L. Hey, I might have messed up, but it's Kila the E doll. A K E E L A T H E E D O L L. Hey, man. Yeah, you. Say, man, thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned in to Two Girls, One Taco. Two Girls. We just had a great show. Make sure you follow and subscribe and like the video, share and repost. Make sure you follow our co-hosts and all of our guests. And make sure you stay tuned to Taco Talk TV, man. Peace out, Girl Scout, Sweet Dreams, Designer Jane. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Two Girls, One Taco. Yeah, yeah.